Welcome to a lesson on logically equivalent statements. If we take a look at the truth table below, notice how the column for if p then q is true, false, true, true, and the column for the negation of p or q is also true, false, true, true. This means that no matter what p and q are, the statements the negation of p or q and if p then q either are both true or both false. We therefore say these statements are logically equivalent. Two molecular statements p and q are logically equivalent provided p is true precisely when q is true. That is, p and q have the same truth value under any assignment of truth values to their atomic parts. To verify that two statements are logically equivalent, we can make a truth table for each and check whether the columns for the two statements are identical. Recognizing two statements are logically equivalent can be very helpful. Rephrasing a mathematical statement can often land insight into what it is saying or how to approve or refute it. By using truth tables, we can systematically verify that two statements are indeed logically equivalent. Let's look at an example. Are the statements, it will not rain or snow, and it will not rain, and it will not snow, logically equivalent? Let's let P be the statement it will rain, and Q be the statement it will snow. We want to know whether the negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to the negation of P and the negation of Q. Notice the first two columns of the truth table are for P and Q to list all the possible combinations of T's and F's for true and false. We have true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And now let's consider the negation of P or Q. The negation of P or Q is true only when P and Q is false, which occurs when P is false and Q is false. Otherwise, the negation of P or Q is false. We'll notice in the fourth row, P is false and Q is false, which means P or Q is false, and therefore the negation of P or Q is true. Everywhere else, the negation of P or Q is false. This gives us false, 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 true for the column. Next, the negation of P and the negation of Q is true only when the negation of P and the negation of Q are true, which is when P and Q are both false. Well, again, looking at the fourth row, P and Q are false, and therefore the negation of P and the negation of Q are true, indicating the negation of P and the negation of Q is true in row four. Everywhere else, the negation of P and the negation of Q is false. This gives us the column false, 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 true. Because the two columns are identical, the two statements are equivalent. Notice this example gives us a way to distribute a negation over disjunction, meaning an or. We have a similar rule for distributing over conjunctions, meaning ands. Which leads us to De Morgan's laws. First, the negation of P and Q is logically equivalent to the negation of P or the negation of Q. To go from the statement on the left to the statement on the right, the negation passes across the parentheses and applies to the P, then the AND changes to OR, then we negate Q. These two statements are logically equivalent, which means if we had the truth table, the columns would be identical. And this should make sense. The negation of P and Q is false, only when P is true and Q is true. Otherwise, the negation of P and Q is true, which is the same for the negation of P or the negation of Q. The negation of P or the negation of Q is false, only when P is true and Q is true. Otherwise, the negation of P or the negation of Q is true. Next, we have the negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to the negation of P and the negation of Q. Again, starting with the statement on the left, the negation passes through the parentheses and then negates P, the or changes to and, and then we negate Q. Again, because these two statements are logically equivalent, if we had the truth table, the columns for the two statements would be identical. And again, hopefully this makes sense. The negation of P or Q is true only when P is false and Q is false. Otherwise, the negation of P or Q is false. And the same is true for the negation of P and the negation of Q. This is true only when P is false and Q is false. Otherwise, the negation of P and the negation of Q is false. 
This suggests there might be some sort of algebra that we can apply to statements to transform one statement to another. And there is, it's called Boolean algebra. We can now start collecting useful examples of logical equivalents and apply them in succession to a statement instead of running out a complicated truth table. Let's take a look at a couple more logically equivalent statements. Next we have implications are disjunctions. If P then Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. And again, this should make sense. Remember, if P then Q is false only when P is true and Q is false, otherwise if P then Q is true. And not P or Q is also false only when P is true and Q is false, otherwise not P or Q is true. With this into Morgan's law, we can take any statement and simplify it to the point where negations are only being applied to atomic propositions. Well, actually not because we could get multiple negations stacked up, but this is easy to deal with. The double negation of P is logically equivalent to P. For our last example, let's prove the statements, the negation of if P then Q and P and not Q are logically equivalent without using truth tables. So starting with the statement, the negation of if P then Q, we will apply implications or disjunctions which gives us the negation of the negation of P or Q. From here we can apply De Morgan's Law where we pass the negation to the parentheses which will give us the double negation of P. The or becomes and and we negate Q. This gives us the double negation of P and the negation of Q. From here we can simplify using the double negation rule which gives us P and not Q which is what we were trying to show the two statements are equivalent. This illustrates that the negation of an implication is not an implication, it is a conjunction. We can verify the results using a truth table, which I've shown here below. Notice how the two columns for the negation of if P then Q and P and not Q are identical. Before we go, let's summarize the logically equivalent statements we've discussed. We have De Morgan's laws, we have implications are disjunctions, we have double negation, and now we have the negation of an implication. I hope you found this helpful.